He's up here watching the battle of the elemental siren heads take place. And he is freaking out, man. Mounties has never experienced such a battle. He was having a nap because he's just, I don't know, he's a homeless guy. And I, I don't want to make fun of homeless people, all right? But whenever I see them, they're just napping. I'm not going to put them there because that makes it look like he's got a hairy armpit. But the hairs are actually ice spikes, which is just super strange. And nobody needs to see that. Don't want to miss a video? Subscribe to the channel and stay notified. How's it going champs? We're playing Tiny Town VR. We have a stack load of stuff to build in this video. I got a comment on the last video or maybe the one before that though. Someone asked me to build the coffin dance meme. I've already done that. I've done that in a previous video. Here it is right here. Rate it out of 10. I give it a 15 out of 10. Just let me check how you guys have been paying attention though. Let me know in the comments what this particular scene is here that we built on several videos ago. Maybe five or six videos ago? I can't remember. But the last video asked you guys to let me know whether you wanted me to build Ice Siren Head or Zombie Siren Head next. A lot of you asked for Ice Siren Head. So we're gonna do that in this video and then we're gonna do the Zombie Siren Head in the next one. We're actually gonna put him right here. The Ice Siren Head though, I'm sticking him over there somewhere and I'm probably gonna get another Fire Siren Head and make him battle. I thought that would be awesome. So first I'm gonna stick some stuff over here though. I'm just gonna turn off snapping. I'm gonna put in a little bit of a zombie scene. We've already got some stuff going on down there, but I'm gonna add some more. Can't wait to put this Ice Siren Head together though. I, uh, I fixed him up in Google Blocks. So he's all ready to go. Here we go. Zombies. But I still need to make the zombie siren head. I need to get the regular siren head I built and make him look all zombified and stuff. Which is actually really tricky to do. Okay, I'm gonna get a pilot. This guy's an airport worker, but I'll get him anyway. He's a zombie airport worker. We have an actual pilot. This is a helipad, but we'll get him anyway. He looks pretty legit. Let's get this homeless zombie guy who was just, he was having a nap. Because he's just, I don't know, he's a homeless guy and I, I don't want to make fun of homeless people, all right? But whenever I see them, they're just napping. I guess they're pretty tired. Okay, I'm going to put him, I'm going to put him here. He's just having a nap. He's curled up in the corner. <laughs> Look at him. I wish I had a way to close his eyes for him, but I can't. I wonder if zombies actually do nap. Okay, so I'm looking for perfect. Yes. A smashed helicopter. Let's get this thing. I'm gonna put this here. All right, smashed helicopter. I might actually do it just a little bit off the helipad. Almost like it didn't quite make the landing. Oh, he got crushed. <laughs> he was waving them in and he got crushed. That's what happened. Wanna have him eating another civilian? Just straight up chomping on his face. Let's just get a regular person. Maybe like a hospital worker because this is actually a hospital. Uh, let's do like she's kind of, she's lost a leg. And she's lost some of her arm, I guess. And she's like on the ground here. Oh, there we go. That's good. That's good. Let's get this guy. Old mate. He was the one who ate her leg. And then this guy's chowing down on her head. Just got to add these minor details, man. As gross as they are, you got to add them in. But this guy looks like he would fly a chopper. All right, I'm switching it up. I'm getting rid of these guys. And this is going to be the chopper dude getting out of here. Right, he's jumping out, he's got a gun, and he's actually s trying to save the people. There we go, we'll just get some regular zombie people. All right, regular zombie people eat <laughs> eating the nurse. <laughs> that looks really gross. All right, I need a gun. Oh yeah, dude's got a shotgun. That is really cool, he's just jumping out of the chopper with his shotgun <laughs> to save nobody. <laughs> There's nobody who needs saving. It's saving this kind of like this cool looking biker kind of guy. You know what I mean? This is the guy in every zombie movie who thinks he's the best. He thinks he's awesome and he talks crap to everybody like, I don't need your help, man. But he's like one of the second or like third people to die because they're really crap. <laughs> All right, there we go. He's saying I'm too cool to die. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna get eaten anyway, champ. That is pretty awesome. I like that. I wonder what this guy is gonna do. He's gonna jump down, blast some dudes. Should we add another person or not? Let me know in the comments whether you reckon I should add another dude to the scene and what he should be doing or what he should be saying. Let's head over to our siren head scene that we've got going on over here. Man, this place is getting so massive. I feel like I need to do like a, a tour 
you know what I mean? Like a five minute tour where we go around and we have a look at like all the little bits and pieces and stuff that I've built. But if you get any suggestions and stuff, let me know in the comments. And like I said, we're adding Zombie Siren Head in the next video. So if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe now so you don't miss out on the video. I'm gonna add in, right? Here's my story for where Ice Siren Head has actually come from. Space, cause it's cold in space. And he latched himself onto a space shuttle that came down and then he's fighting via siren head that's come from the volcano. So let's get some space stuff. I need to turn snapping back on. All right, I'm gonna put the launch pad sort of around here somewhere. I think this launch pad area would look a little bit better if it had like concrete under it. So let's just put some concrete down. All right, nice. I think that looks really cool. I'm gonna get some buildings and stuff to put in there as well, just to make it look a little bit more legit. Uh, what sort of space buildings do we have? There's got to be something. What's that? Office building. Yes. Let's put some of these in. I don't think they would be so close to the thing, but anyway. Okay, my little space office is looking all right. I put in a fence just to make it look like it's actually closed off. All right, dude, let's get a launch tower. Man, that thing is massive. So I don't really know how space shuttles and stuff work because <laughs> Australia doesn't really have much of a space shuttle program. <laughs> So I'm just gonna make it up as I go along. Oh yeah, here we go. Here we go. This is the business. I'm pretty sure they go like this. I didn't even know if this is how they land, but I'm putting it here anyway. I'm pretty sure they only look like this before takeoff, but yeah, I don't care that much. I still think it's all right. I think it looks awesome. The battle's gonna be going on just behind our SCP building here, which we haven't added anything to in quite a while. So I thought maybe on the next video, we'll go ahead and we'll add an SCP in. I was thinking that one that looks, I can't remember its number. It's got a number, I can't remember what it is. It's the one where it's like the, the crocodile looking thing with the hair and it's basically indestructible. You guys can let me know in the comments, I'm sure you will. <laughs> <laughs> but I know I've read it. I just can't remember what number it is. So let's put in another fire siren head This one I'm actually gonna make it like it's a little bit smaller So I'm gonna shrink this one's body down a little bit get its arms and stuff and shrink its arms down Cool about there. Yep We can basically make these ones whatever size we want because they're just they're made up So they're not uh, you know, they're not based off anything anyway. So let's put that there Where's this guy's legs there? They are. Okay, so we'll have him like maybe sort of coming down the hill or something like that or we could even have him being hit by like an ice blast and he's just like been smacked straight off his feet oh yeah that's cool that's cool all right hang on his feet are a little bit weird looking at the moment all right nice take that fire siren head you idiot that actually looks really cool and we'll put the sirens facing the opposite direction because they've just been smacked Straight out of the wrong way. Okay. Yeah, dude, that is cool. I like that. I just added in some trees and stuff I thought it'd be a good idea just to fill in with some details just to make it feel like a little bit more real You know what I mean? Like the area is kind of alive, but it is missing something incredibly important Where there's ever a tree there needs to be a mountie. Where is he? Here we go Let's grab Let's grab this one. Okay, we've got a Mountie just in a tree. One epic feature of the Mountie is their ability to climb and hug a tree. He's up here watching the battle of the elemental siren heads take place and he is freaking out, man. Mounties have never experienced such a battle. It's the weirdest thing to them. So there we go. Let's put them up there. I really hope I meet a Mountie one day. I should probably go to Canada. Then it might actually happen. Let's put his, his arm up like that. Like he's in the tree and he's kind of he's you know, you know what I mean? He's guarding the Sun from his face He's kind of looking at the battle that's ensuing out here in the nice grassy plain <laughs> Next to the space shuttle, so I made my own DIY ice looking crap And I thought I could put that on the space shuttle and also the ice siren head as well frosty siren head I'm calling him so here's some of the ice stuff that I made now These were the only colors that I had so they're quite white and they're quite blue, but I'm gonna put them on here anyway Let's just let's just go with this. Let's put this on our shuttle. Nice. That's a frosty looking shuttle That's pretty good. All right. We've got these little icy spiky things going on here We'll put these down here just to make it look like it's got a bit of ice hanging off it. Yeah, cool. Frosty shuttle. I think that works pretty well. Let's do it. Let's start building our ice siren head. Now, how am I going to form this guy to make it look like he's just fired a blast of ice 
and it smashed the fire siren head. How would he be standing? He'd be standing in like a, a firing pose. I kind of wish I made it so he had bent knees and then I'd be able to put it down like, you know, like he's kind of gotten on all fours so that he could like brace himself to fire off this ice blast. That would be really cool. I'm gonna put his arms back. I think maybe having his arms back will make it look like he's actually shooting something. Like he's sort of bracing himself, you know what I mean? Yeah, there we go. That's a firing pose. I like that one. I'm making him big as well. Cause this dude's from space, man. He's totally from space. All right, there we go. Let's get his other leg on there. He's a little bit off the ground at the moment. All right, we'll attach that arm. Are his arms the same length? You kind of know they're not. <laughs> He's got one arm shorter than the other, which is I think actually a real thing Don't humans have like one arm shorter than the other? Let me know in the comments what you think of this guy I think he looks pretty awesome so far. I like the look of him. It's a shame He's kind of in the shadows a little bit. I wish I could move the Sun over to there Or if this game had like a day night cycle or you could just move it wherever you want <laughs> Something like that if anyone knows how to mod this game get in touch with me All right jump on my discord and let me know if you can mod this game. Okay, where's the siren head? Here it is. That is cool, man. I'm gonna have him... It's gotta be like actually facing the direction because he blasts these things from his mouth. We've got our ice fire ball. It's not a fireball, it's an ice ball. He's firing another one. He's already blasted him with one, which I'm gonna put like smacked right into his chest. Just like, bang, got him right there. And we'll get these, where are these frost spikes? Here they are. Let's get like heaps more of these. Put these around. This is good. He just got smacked. Oh, dude, that's awesome. Let me know in the comments what you think of it. I'm, I'm really happy with the way that this is turning out. I think that looks awesome. He's just been absolutely blasted with the ice. Is he about the same size as my Mega Siren Head? Let's just head over to Mega Siren Head. Nah, Mega Siren Head is definitely taller. I think Ice Siren Head would probably come up to about here somewhere. Dude, he is so massive. Get smacked, champ. I haven't finished the details on the Ice Siren Head yet. I'm gonna put a few more little details on. I think he needs like these little ice bits kind of like hanging from him to make it look like, you know, he's like had just ice dripping from him or something. You know what I mean. <laughs> it's like an icy beard. See what I mean? It's like frost, frost shards. All right, I'm just gonna randomly put them on his body as well. Just kind of add a bit of something to his body. I'm not gonna put them there because that makes it look like he's got a hairy armpit, but the hairs are actually ice spikes, which is just super strange. And nobody needs to see that. All right, I reckon I'm pretty happy with that. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. I think it looks really good. Adding like all these ice shards and stuff sticking out of him. I think it definitely makes a difference. That's cool, man. They're like spikes. Should I put him down his back? Nah, he doesn't need he doesn't need him. Okay, so that's our ice siren head versus fire siren head scene. I'm actually really, really happy with how that turned out. That's not right. Just let me fix that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a problem when you're a perfectionist you have to fix every little detail So in the next video we're putting in the zombie siren head Let me know if you got some ideas or special things you'd like to see added to him and I'll chuck them in But thank you very much for watching this video if you liked it Give us one of these ones. I'll see you guys next time